Monica's fear of holes has taken control of her life, but she said she's ready to face her fear today. Dr. Judy, take it away. Okay, so one thing that we know works for phobias is cognitive behavioral therapy and specifically exposure therapy. Okay. And today what we're gonna do is a technique called systematic desensitization. So what this does is we're going to be having you confront some of your feared objects and we're gonna unlearn those associations. At some point you learned that this was a scary thing. You had a negative emotional response whenever you saw something yeah. that looked like small holes. And today we're gonna to unlearn those associations and instead reassociate them with relaxation. So you told our producers about your top 10 feared items. Yeah. And we're gonna start with something that's kind of lower on your fear hierarchy, oh, okay. Okay, something that's not as bad. <laughs> and the entire time I'm gonna ask you what your suds is. So the suds is a subjective unit of distress. I'm gonna have you tell me on a number of one to 100. 100 being, oh my gosh, I'm about to have a panic attack. Okay. One is, this doesn't barely bother me at all. all right. Okay, so we're just gonna monitor that as we go along. Okay. And audience, we want you to obviously give her positive support and reinforcement to help her conquer this. You can do it! Yes. <laughs> All right, Monica, all right. ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Whew, deep breath. All right, so the first one we're gonna pick up mm -hmm. is kind of something that looks like a little bit like a keyboard. Oh yeah. This is no big deal. Yeah. So tell me what your suds is right now on a scale of one to 100 yeah, looking at just, this. No, it's just one, it's, it's fine. So I remember just, this feeling, you're pretty relaxed yeah. right now, you feel good, you don't feel threatened. We're gonna move on to the next one, okay? This is what you said was the most feared for you, okay. So we're gonna have you cut some of these fruits open. And you know what, I also wanna put up some of your favorite fruits. Oh yeah, I love grapes. Because I'm gonna try to associate some of your feared fruits with some of your favorite fruits. Now we're gonna make a nice fruit salad together today, okay? okay? And we're gonna have a nice snack. So right. go ahead and pick up that knife and take a deep breath. You can do this, I'm gonna help you, all right? Okay, audience, we're gonna get some support for Monica. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Easy oh, you got this, Monica. Let's go. You can do it. You can do it. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. I know you can't look at it yet. It's okay. She's she's having a, a reaction. She doesn't want to quite look at it yet. I know what it looks Take like. Take a deep breath. <laughs> What's your suds right now on a scale of one to? I'm a hundred. You're a hundred. Okay. You're 100. Okay. Okay. All right, I know you're shaking. She feels like she's shaking a little bit. Take a couple of deep breaths. Remember, fear passes, okay? It's a biological reaction. You're just having an emotional response. Yes, take some fruit. That's perfect, yes, yes. Get some of your happy fruit in front of you. That's awesome. Here's some blueberries. You know, we're gonna make a happy fruit salad in just a little bit. All right, we're gonna do this, Monica. Open it up and look at it and take deep breaths while you're looking at it. It's okay, take a deep breath. Take a deep breath while you're looking at it. I know you can do this. Yes, you can. You can do it, Monica. Yes, you can. Take a look at it. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Almost there. You're gonna be okay. Just keep looking. You got this. You got this. You can do this. You're doing great. I'm so proud of you. This is what we're doing. We're facing our fears today. Okay? And I know that you want to do this because you don't want this to affect your life anymore, right?